Well, I can't believe it's been five years. It seems like yesterday I was on the internet watching YouTube videos, trying to research what type of dog to get. I had my list of things that I wanted and things that I didn't want. There wasn't a ton of information on Dutch Shepherds. There, I would really would just see Belgian Malinois things. And, um, anyway, I went through all the, the forums and the, the videos and everything. Well, fast forward five years and it seems like the dog breed has really taken off. Even uh, John Jones, the UFC heavyweight champion, has a uh, Dutch Shepherd. Check out his Instagram for uh, videos of him training his dog. They're pretty cool. Since you clicked on this video, you might be in the same boat that I was five years ago. And I just want to warn you, there's a lot of uh, so-called experts on the breed that will tell you they're too energetic, they're not energetic, they're, they don't make good pets, they do make good pets. Um, just know that your experience may not be the same as someone else's. I have two Dutch Shepherds that are siblings and they are completely different from one another. One is more energetic, one's more chill, one's more cuddly, one's not, one likes kids, one doesn't, one likes other dogs, one doesn't really like other dogs, so they're completely different and your experience may be different from somebody else's. One thing I will say for sure, they need exercise and mental stimulation. If you leave them indoors for too long, they'll get depressed. Um, my old house, I had this uh, big backyard fenced in and I could get out and play with them. For me, that was really important because I'm not the type of guy that wants to be out in public walking my dogs around. I don't like having dogs on leashes. I want them to be able to run and do their thing and get all their energy out. So if, if you're living in an apartment and you don't like walking dogs, don't get one of these. Other dogs like to stay home and chill with you and be lazy. These aren't those type of dogs. If you're interested in a dog breed that will watch over and protect your house while you're gone, uh, these are pretty good dogs for that. There's pros and cons to that. Be prepared for them to bark and be standoffish with neighbors, relatives, people that come over. Um, a lot of people that come to my house are kind of on edge when they come in because the dogs are just pretty intense. If you plan on having like dog sitters come over or whatever when you're gone, uh, that can be hard because you're wondering, are, are my dogs going to remember the dog sitter from last time? Um, so th those are things you kind of want to take into consideration. If you're wondering what Cinder keeps trying to get, they're these like uh, little lizards. Um, this is definitely a unique landscape out here. I don't, I've never seen a rattlesnake. I, I'm waiting for the day that we discover one out there, but um, yeah, she's going after these little lizards and Jax couldn't care less about them. The dogs haven't had any health issues or anything so far. Uh, I take them to the vet yearly for their shots and everything. No joint problems. Uh, they filled out a little bit. Cinder could probably lose a couple pounds. I, sh I just need to be more active with them. Uh, one regret that I do have with the dogs is I got them spayed and neutered pretty early. Um, do your research on that. It's advised to let it, let it ride for a while, let them get all the hormones and everything they need. Um, so maybe do your research, don't listen to the vet necessarily. There's two other things that I just want to mention that I waited way too long to do this. I would, I would just have these right off the bat with the dogs. It's, number one, I would put a, uh, like a bark collar on them. I know that, you know, a lot of people don't like those, but I just have the one that does, uh, you can see it here on her neck. It's, uh, it does the tone vibrate or shock and um, I just started off with the tone these are the these are shock collars that have a remote to them that I can give them the tone the vibration or the shock when they're doing something they're not supposed to but you don't have to use these very much I've never had to shock um, uh, jacks with them the tone is plenty for him I think I gave her one one shock and she never did that again 
um, but it, it keeps them from barking all the time and uh, it really helps them to be obedient. I have a few other videos on my channel that kind of go into more uh, depth on what it's like to live with these dogs. Um, and I'll leave a link in the description of the, the collars that I, that I have for them if you're interested. But thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, leave a comment and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks. Thank you.